welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name is Ashley and in this channel I make lifestyle beauty and cleaning videos for today's video I will be sharing with you three DIY projects and things that you never thought that you can use inside your home if you guys want to know what these items are and how I incorporate them in my home then go ahead and keep on watching all right guys we're gonna start with these file cabinets the black one, I actually found this on the curb. And then the gray one, I got it for $3. So I'm going to paint both of these with the Rosoleum Ultra Cover Paint in the shade Flat Black. Uh, I am going to paint the gray one a little more than the other black one because it doesn't really need much paint. But I do want the texture to match because the black one is more glossy and this paint is uh, flat matte. So... I'm going to paint both of these and then once I'm done with them, I will show you guys how they look. Hi right, guys, so I'm done painting the file cabinets. Um, I also painted this little mug, not mug rack, um, plate rack. It was originally brown and I painted it black because I want to use it inside and I really didn't like the color of it. So might as well paint it. And then now my file cabinets are drying completely. I didn't do, I literally just covered some of the spots that needed to be covered because this was already black. All right guys, so this one is drying already. Um, I hope you guys can see with the lighting because it is currently really awful outside. But this one I did do two coats of it. Um, it's gonna dry like a matte black. Um, and I decided to paint these little key things because i mean why not um i didn't paint the back of it because the back of it is not going to show and i'm just going to have it against the wall so i just did two coats on each side and that's basically it i'm just going to wait for them to dry and then i'll show you the next step okay the lighting is horrible i know but it was 11 at night and i wanted to finish this project for you guys so I'm basically uh, painting or freehanding some numbers on the file cabinets. I wrote them with a pencil and then I went over with some white paint. This is uh, chalk paint that I had left over from the last project I did. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. But yeah, I'm just basically just painting in the numbers and that's basically it. This is so pretty. I feel like this elevates this project even more. It makes it look better than how it looked without anything. And I really, really like it because it gives it more of a industrial farmhousey look. All right, we are gonna start with our second project. Um, I found these chairs on the curb probably, I don't know, maybe a month ago or less than that. Uh, I did tell you guys that almost all of my dining chairs broke. So I found these on the curb and I saw potential in them, but I just wanted to paint them because I want them to match my dining chair, my dining table, excuse me. Um, so I'm basically using the paint that I use to paint my dining table so that everything can match. Um, let me tell you one thing right now. I do not recommend this brand of paint. I freaking hate it with every fiber in my body. I am exaggerating, but I hate it so much. I do not recommend this paint at all. It's very streaky. It's I don't like it at all. I don't know if I'm using it correctly. I mean, I'm pretty sure I am because I've had my fair share of paints that I've tried and I really do not like this one. So, yeah. All right guys, so I'm done with the first coat. Um, it's pretty sheer right now. I'm just letting it dry completely. I haven't finished the legs because I'm gonna flip the leg, I'm sorry, I'm gonna flip the chairs upside down so I can neatly paint the legs and I don't have to get the floor dirty. Um, so, this is how it looks right now. It looks really bad because it is the first coat, but once I'm done with the second, it's gonna look very cute. I also am going to distress these because I love, love, love distressing furniture. And that's just like my my go-to thing to do with furniture whenever I paint it. So let me go ahead and finish the second coat. 
Okay guys, so I'm finally done with these chairs. I didn't show you how I painted the second coat because it's self-explanatory. I mean, it's just literally a second coat of paint and I don't think you guys wanted to see that. So I'm basically distressing the chairs because the paint was so extremely streaky. I had to do this. I was gonna distress them anyways because like I said, I that's the way I love my refurbishing projects to look like, but this needed a little extra love because like I said, this paint is completely trash. So if you see streaks is because of that, it is not because I suck at painting, okay? Do not judge me. So after this, we are completely done with the chairs. I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy me distressing for a little bit and then I'll see you in the other project. Okay guys, so this is our last DIY for this video. Um, let me explain to you what this is. Uh, this is basically a crib spring or yeah, I'm pretty sure what's that that's what it is. Um, I found it on the curb and I've seen a lot of these little projects on Pinterest where they use this kind of spring as wall decor. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm going to do it use it for in this video So what I have here is a wreath. You don't need to use the wreath, but this makes it look really pretty um, It actually adds a pop of color and then the next thing you're gonna need are some clothes pins I wanted to order the vintage looking ones on Amazon, but I really did not want to wait until I got them on the mail so I just bought those and then my daughter cut up this a book that I was not using and she did hearts so I basically cut out a heart out of cardboard and then we outlined them on the book and then we just cut out the hearts and basically what we're gonna do is hang them on this crib spring so let me show you how it looks on the wall okay guys so we're down to the last project this is by far one of my favorite projects that I've ever done um, I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I love it so much. So basically I found this uh, crib spring on the curb and I've seen a lot of people do uh, or create DIYs with this. They hang pictures, jewelry, and they even use it for like storing pots and pans. But for now I'm using it to display these little hearts on the wall. I eventually want to display, um, what is it, vintage pictures of my grandmother and vintage pictures of my mom. But for now, this is what I have. So I just basically cut out some heart-shaped uh, pages from a book and then I put them on the spring with some clothespins. And I feel like this makes it look so pretty. I love it so, so much. If you guys recreate this, let me know because I would love, love to see your pictures. Alright guys, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and also share with your friends and family for ideas on things you can find on the street and you can make them pretty in your home. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.